morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. It's a honor to have you on my channel. Yes, you might recognize me. I am the guy that with his family three and a half years ago sold literally everything he owned. His house, his cars, his companies, his bikes, my wife 70 pairs of shoes. We went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now three and a half years later, we are still all into Bitcoin and still traveling the world. Now coming to you guys from the bushes here in Alicante, Spain. In today's really cool video, it's an awesome video, believe me, you need to watch it all the way. We are going to talk about really cool charts that are showing you exactly what is happening in space at the moment. We are also going to take a look to the, into the peer-to-peer -peer trading volumes because they are going insane in some parts of the world. Also sharing with you guys why the, one of the biggest exchanges Kraken thinks we might go up with 200% in the next couple of weeks slash months. 200% by Kraken. They have a lot of data. They know what they are talking about. And taking a peek into this really cool South Korean blockchain that is now providing people of a digital driving license. And I will end the video guys by talking about Chainlink, trying to educate you what Chainlink is and why this price has been going up tremendously the last couple of weeks. Enjoy today's video while I pause here in the shadow in this bloody hot weather, Alicante, Spain. <laughs> again a beautiful place here in Alicante, Spain bushes I feel like Steve Irwin where we are going to hunt for these very dangerous animals but instead I'm just talking about a very cool project called Bitcoin blockchain and life yesterday guys I was listening to this beautiful Bob Marley music again I listen to Bob Marley a lot of times because I just like his lyrics I like the way he sings about life like don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right. Don't worry if you see a dip to 11K or 10,500 US dollar in Bitcoin, because every little thing is gonna be all right. I think a better song for this temperature is, the sun is shining, the weather is sweet, makes you want to move your dancing feet to the rescue. Here I am, my name is Bitcoin. Yes, you can trust me. Yes, you can. I love to create these lyrics, these Bitcoin lyrics instead of the original Bob Marley lyrics. Um, so yes, to the rescue, here I am. My name is Bitcoin and you can trust me. Yes, you can. And yes, I won't sing too often because I know that that exactly is not my talent. But guys, I need to entertain you guys because else I would be this YouTuber sitting behind the boring desk talking to you about some stuff in Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And I prefer to entertain you a little bit. So let's start to talk about Bitcoin today. The most important thing in Bitcoin price today is that we break 12K. Like you can see on this chart, bam, yes, directly beginning with all the charts <laughs> like you can see on this chart you can see this red line horizontal line that is exactly at the level of 12,000 US dollar Bitcoin you can see that we have been fighting this level for many weeks and months on the chart always look to the left that way and you can see that we touched this line many times and every time we were rejected and we fell down again but if you want to take a different angle to this whole industry let's take a look at this chart when we look to the total market cap so let's take a look at this chart bam this chart you see again a very beautiful horizontal red line this horizontal red line is around the area of 350 billion US dollar 
because that is the total market cap we have been fighting for multiple years. If you again look to the left, you can see we already fought this level 2017 and then when we came back again it became support and again became resistance and then when you look to the right more and more and more you can see that the 350 billion US dollar total market cap is a level we have been hovering around and fighting and using as support for already two and a half years. So this is a very important level. We need to break this total market cap of 350 billion US dollar to then increase the market cap to 430 billion US dollar which would be the next line of resistance. This is how you look at the total crypto market by zooming out on the chart and seeing these huge resistance lines of 350 billion US dollar, 430 billion US dollar, all these lines we need to break to get higher on the charts. How high could we go? Um, no one knows. <laughs> yeah, referring to the song I always use in my, uh, in my videos, but of course you can always try to estimate how high we can go and that is what we do on this chart. Bam! This chart I found on TradingView, a beautiful chart where you can see that if we would be repeating this fractal in the market cap, in the total crypto market cap, we would now fall down. Ah, don't freak out, don't freak out, zoom out. We would now fall down in the total market cap to 280, 290 billion US dollar again. So yes, then the Bitcoin price will be going down to 10K or maybe 9,700, like everybody is expecting to fill the CME gap. But you can see that also this chart is then predicting we are going to break the 350 billion US dollar market cap. We are going to break the 430 billion US dollar market cap. We are even ending up at an 1100 billion US dollar market cap in Q4 2021. So that's the last quarter of 2021. We can see a 1100 billion US dollar market cap. That's a market cap times four from now. So if Bitcoin keeps its dominance around the 60% we have been hovering, then it is easy for Bitcoin to go times four from this point. So it's easy to reach around 44, 45,000 US dollar if we just continue the beautiful flow in this graph on the total market cap in crypto. But we never know for sure because we just saw on coin market cap that the Bitcoin dominance dropped below 60%. We are now at a Bitcoin dominance of about 59.4% the time of recording this video. Always make sure you check what time I recorded the video because else you could make a wrong trade or a wrong judgment of the market. So at this time I'm recording a video around 10 o'clock in the morning in Spain. Yes, I'm a little bit late today, but you can see that the Bitcoin dominance dropped to 90 to 59.4% in coin market cap. And that is one of the reasons why we should start to think about this beautiful alt season we could see in the near future. Yes, I know it already kind of started for many coins like Chainlink and Band and Algo and all these coins already did tremendous uh, return on investment and of course I'm not going to forget SRM that did 1600% so yes alt season has a little bit started but when the Bitcoin dominance dropped even lower then these alts were start to explode even more and that is exactly what we can see on the charts today because last week I bought myself a few alts yes I need to trade as well I need to feed my hungry children and not only feed them sometimes they want new shoes I'm luckily they don't want the newest brands and the newest models so they are fine with just explosively yellow shoes or explosively red shoes which which are mostly not the most expensive ones out there but I need to make I need to make some bitcoins to be able to afford all that stuff and in this trading I also get some help from Lisa and Edwards she's a very very good friend of me and uh, she is just a very good trader and as I don't have the time to trade daily anymore because I'm busy with making vlogs for you that don't bring the, me the kind of money that I could earn with trading. <laughs> but then again, I love to do things that I love to do. And that's what I preach to you guys as well. You need to try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And this vlogging is for me one big joy. So that is why I prefer to vlog 
and set up to trade and why I need the help of other people like Nisa and Edwards or Bitcoin Jack or the Wolf of All Streets all these guys I follow their charts I follow their tweets and sometimes I buy into these alts because they did a damn good analyze of the market so last week I bought some waves I bought some IOST I bought some Funfair I bought some PNT SNX and I think some Sol keep the soul alive yes I bought some soul as well so I started to invest in these alts last week till I think yesterday or the day before I still added some more to these alts and they are all in profit more than 30 to 40 percent so this is an indicator to me that indeed this alt season is slowly starting we can slowly look forward to these insane bull runs we have seen now in SRM of 1500% and we can slowly start to look forward now to see many more of these beautiful bull runs all the way up to 400% 600% and this is how we multiply our Bitcoin stack and then and again when we increase our Bitcoin stack Bitcoin will start to fly up to the moon and then again you take your profits over there so always be aware that if Bitcoin starts to run I keep repeating it because I think it's very important when Bitcoin goes sideways, these alts will run up. When Bitcoin will start to run, these alts can drop in value. So always use a stop loss. Why am I saying this? Because if you take a look at this chart, bam, wow. Do you recognize that one? Yes, you do. Because if you have been following our channel, which you should have already been doing for many years, <laughs> but okay, I can understand. Um, this chart I already shared with you like a few weeks ago and then at that point there were only two red areas that were indicating the areas of people that bought into Bitcoin around that area that were not in profit. All the other green areas in the line, if you bought Bitcoin over there, you are in profit. So this is one way of reading that chart. A other way of reading this chart is that every time this line turns red is red top of the hill the Bitcoin price drops down if you look to the left you can see when the line became red the price went down in 2017-18 and also in 2019 around 14k since two days this line turned red again so this could indicate another top where Bitcoin is going to correct down as always I say to you guys please look to the left on the chart you can see that the time before the 2017 bull run we saw many green tops as well and the Bitcoin price corrected as well or even went up so you never know I don't think this is the best indicator but it is an indicator to warn you watch out the stop is becoming red so when this stop is becoming red the Bitcoin price could make a small correction so please be aware of these corrections use a stop loss by the way guys I just shared with you which alts I bought which alts do you think I should buy now because I want to include your knowledge into these videos please comment below and tell me in which alts you are investing at the moment so you're educating me but also educating all these other followers and subscribers because they might be newcomers to the game and we need to support these newcomers we need to make sure they don't get wrecked they don't lose all their money in this very volatile industry and market are you liking the video till now I am sweating again it's bloody hot if you're liking the video please give the video already a thumbs up share it already with your communities subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so please do this because the YouTube algorithm likes this when people hit the thumbs up button and when people subscribe to your channel I like it of course as well but I want to monetize this channel more and more and more so we can start to give away the profits that we are making with this YouTube channel because for the newcomers I started this YouTube channel only with two reasons one reason to prove to my children that a 42 year old could monetize his skills by just walking every day talking to a camera and editing the video and pub publishing it online on a YouTube channel and then make money I want to show my kids that it is possible to make money in every kind of way if you just go for it the second reason guys is maybe even more important 
that we want to monetize the channel because if I monetize the channel we are going to use these profits we make with YouTube to give this away to poor people to invest in projects that will help poor people to give it away to charities and all these kind of things and yes we are going to be transparent and yes we are going to create videos about this because in my opinion if I start to make videos about this you will see what we are doing as a family that we are leading by example that it is not only about accumulating wealth but also about sharing wealth so then we make a video more people will see that we give away more viewers will come again we can earn more we can give away more and we create a cycle where we will become one big Bitcoin family that is there to share and care for other people in the world Some other real cool news guys is that we just reached a peer-to-peer -peer trading volume high we haven't reached since January 2018 I think 95 million dollar exchange of hands in the only in the first week of August on platforms like Plexhole and localbitcoins.com these flies are hitting me everywhere in my face I hate flies the biggest part of these transactions is made in Latin America where Venezuela is the biggest country with about five million dollar worth of transactions then at the second place we have Colombia with three million dollar worth of peer-to-peer -peer trades and then I think Argentina and Peru with one million US dollar per week traded peer-to-peer -peer on localbitcoins.com and Paxful to be clear these are just the top countries in total 13 billion US dollar is being traded in these peer-to-peer -peer markets weekly 13 billion US dollar is a shitload of money that people are now trading peer-to-peer -peer without any centralized entity in between to do so do you want me to get even more bullish yes you can yes of course did you get more bullish every day because Kraken you know the big one of the biggest exchanges out there I bought my first bitcoins I think at Kraken Kraken just announced a beautiful report where they state that Bitcoin could be going up with 200% in the next couple of weeks, months. These flies, fuck off. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh my God, this guy is really crazy. He's talking to flies. He thinks flies can understand him. Uh, unsubscribe, uh, unsubscribe, uh, unsubscribe. He thinks he can talk to flies. Mr. Doolittle, Mr. Diddy Little, whatever you want to call me. I don't care but to come back to the story Kraken is now saying guys we could go up with 200% the next couple of weeks and months and this is the reason why we as the analyst at Kraken think this is going to happen the main reason guys is that they say that we just saw a 21 month low volatility in Bitcoin this has happened 12 times before 12 times the volatility dropped to between 15 and 30 percent and every time this volatility of Bitcoin dropped to between 15 and 30 percent the next thing we saw was an average of a 140 percent run up an average some went higher some went lower that is exactly what an average is so on average when we saw this low volatility in Bitcoin we saw a 140 percent run up Kraken is now saying guys on the 24th of July we saw a low volatility point of 23 percent so this is in the area of 15 to 30 percent so on 24th of July we saw a Bitcoin volatility low at 23 percent so this would mean in the weeks after this 24th of July we would see a Bitcoin price increase of an average of 140 percent and now that we are already two weeks later than the 24th of July we can see a confirmation of this because the Bitcoin price increased already with about 25 percent since that time so it wouldn't be strange if we would increase a lot of 130 or 120 or 110 percent in Bitcoin now because we have done this in average every time we saw this low volatility in Bitcoin and to top it up to become a little bit more bullish Kraken is also stating guys August is the third most volatile month of the year in average August had a 
volatility of like 88%, which means that in the month of August, the price in average changed about 88%. So now the combination of this low volatility and a 140% every time after this low volatility, plus an average of 88% of volatility in the month of August makes this Kraken report become very bullish, makes me become very bullish, makes me want to scream Bitcoin as loud as I can here on these hills in Alicante. Why not? Bitcoin! You can even hear the echo. Some other real cool news, again from South Korea. Yes, I've been talking about South Korea the last couple of videos. Maybe I should go there and visit it because they are really blockchain and crypto minded. Because now in South Korea, you can have a driving license registered on the blockchain. So you have a digital driving license registered on the blockchain. They use an app called Pass for this and then you register your driving license, you get a QR code in your Pass app and with this QR code you can prove you have the ability to drive a car. You can not only use it to drive a car but you can also use this QR code to identify yourself or you know to do this age verification you need to do when you buy alcohol or drugs I don't know, can you buy drugs in South Korea? Ah, drugs is always on my mind. I don't know why, because I'm from the Netherlands, I think. Or, or when you buy alcohol or cigarettes. I think that sounds a little bit better. Yeah, nah, I don't want to give this uh, stamp to the Netherlands that they are all about drugs. Or do I? Yes, I do. I will keep it in. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, is he talking too much at the moment? Keep it short, keep it short. But at the moment, about 1 million people are using this digital driving license in South of Korea. That is about 3% of the total amount of people that own a driving license. I think the other 97% of South Korea just drives a car without a driving license. No. <laughs> it is more of a test. So probably in the future, this uh, use of digital identification, digital driving license, digital proof of age, digital, all these digital things will evolve even more in the future and will be built on this trustable blockchain projects. Because I think it's ridiculous that I'm still traveling the world with a physical passport, with these physical cars, all that stuff you need to show. Why? Just scan my QR code, just look at my face and see that I am the person that owns a passport from the Netherlands. The world is changing. I think this is one of the biggest changes we are going to see soon in this blockchain industry. I think that this identity stuff, passports, all that stuff is going to be one of the biggest adoption areas in the world when it comes to digitizing stuff that needs to be trustable. What the heck, let's just go for it. I'm going to try to talk to you about Chainlink in a very few minutes because I need to walk all the way home from here. And I think I already skipped the part where I needed to go left. First, I need you to understand what Chainlink is before you understand why this price is increasing this tremendously. Chainlink is an Oracle project. Huh? An Oracle project? Is it predicting the future like Neo in the Matrix and all that stuff? No, not that kind of Oracle. A little bit different than the Matrix Oracle, but then again, it also has similarities to this Matrix Oracle. Because what is Chainlink doing? I want to try to simplify it by using the most simple words so that everybody can understand. And I'm not going too deep into the technology, because for this, you can better read it yourself, do your own research. But I'm going to try to tell you in a few words what Chainlink is doing. All the data on the blockchain is very easy to use in smart contracts. A smart contract is a contract made on the blockchain that when some kind of goal is reached, the smart contract will be fulfilled and will be registered on the blockchain. So this is easy when all the data is on the blockchain because then you can just use the data from the blockchain in a smart contract on that blockchain. What do we do with all the data that is not on the blockchain, that is off the blockchain? So data that are now stored in internet or SQL databases or government databases, you know, all kind of other centralized organized data that is not yet registered on the blockchain. How do you get this data into the blockchain? Because you could have the need of creating a smart contract on an Ethereum blockchain, 
but you need the offline data to verify that the smart contract is going to be fulfilled. So there needed to be created a step in between where a middleware software, middleware blockchain project is translating this offline data online to the blockchain. And this is exactly where Chainlink stepped in. They created a project run by different nodes that is collecting all this off-chain data, translating it to a language so the blockchain understands it and it can accept this offline collected data as a verified data and can use it in a smart contract. I hope that was simple enough for you guys. So for example, I wanna make a smart contract on the blockchain. I wanna buy a house on the blockchain using a smart contract using 30 different funders that fund me 10k so i have 300k to buy a house and i want to do this on the blockchain so now creating the smart contract on the blockchain is easy peasy collecting those 30 people that are giving me 10k is also easy because they will get a return on investment every month automatically paid by this smart contract but let's say i want this smart contract to start running when the house price dropped to 300,000 US dollar. And the house is now for sale for 350,000 US dollar on the market. So then I need to create a step in between Chainlink that is analyzing this off-chain house price because that is not registered on the blockchain. And then when Chainlink is analyzing this daily and seeing that the house price is dropping to 300,000 US dollar, on the housing market. It will verify this by multiple nodes so we don't have a problem of a centralized node that may be corrupt. So it verifies this in a very cool technical way, sends this to the blockchain, and then the smart contract buys the house for 300,000 US dollar, and then the contract starts, and I'm paying my interest monthly automatically by using a smart, con smart contract to those 30 people that borrowed me the 10k per person. This is kind of an example that I now can think of at the top of my head. If you have another example, please comment below. Just give a practical example of how it could be used in the world and between all those people that give me a practical example of how these Oracle projects are going to connect off-chain data to on-chain data, I will give away another Bitcoin t-shirt, but this time not randomly. I'm going to give the t-shirt to the one that gives me the most creative solution in the comments below. So start to think now, you need to think. I want to include you more and more into my videos because I want to share your knowledge as well. Ooh, sweaty, wet. Plan B is now soaking wet. Yes, it's time for Plan B all over the world. Also these shirts, you can buy them online in really cool t-shirt stores. Also my store sells a lot of shirts and caps. So take a look at these stores. This was the video for today, guys. I hope you will comment below and give me the answers to the questions I asked you guys. And if you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video and please leave a comment. If you are not able to hit the notification bell, you need to unsubscribe and then subscribe again and then you will be able to click the notification bell. And all of you, please remember to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly why life is worth living. Oh yes, I had a completely forgot, I had a crazy cool conversation yesterday with Scott Melker, the wolf of all streets. We did a podcast and a video interview which will probably be live next week somewhere. So I just wanted to let you know because I think it was a really cool, really insightful conversation and I think you will really like it. So you have a heads up, you're the first to know it's going to be a kick-ass podcast next week. Again, thank you for watching today. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully I have the honor to see you tomorrow.